Yeah, good afternoon. You know, depending on who you talk to, this is a big problem. If you talk to people who live in the area, tourists, they absolutely love the sea lions coming down here watching them. Boat owners, not so much. And they've asked this federal agency that oversees marine mammals to come in and try and come up with a solution. And really, you know, you can be cited for feeding the sea lions for fishermen who dump their chum or their extra bait. But it comes down to enforcement, and that pretty much is impossible. The sea lions seen basking in the sun in the Oceanside Harbor have been here as long as most people we talk to can remember. There's always a bunch of them at this platform. People watch them from the deck right here. For those watching them from the shore along the harbor, they're a delight and a big draw for tourists who spend money in the surrounding shops and restaurants. I wouldn't even have come to this area if it wasn't for the seals. They just make me happy. I, they, they look so relaxed. But for those who have slips here, they say the large sea mammals are troublesome, breaking their back swim steps by using them to get aboard and then pooping all over their dock. Not to mention the all night barking for those who live on their boats. Oh, seal poop everywhere. They're, they're a nuisance. They stink, just reeks to high heaven. But that's not all. He says when he goes out to sea for a paddle, he carries with him the distinct smell of the sea lion. The seal poop. That's what the great whites eat, and I go outside, and so I smell like like those guys, oh. and uh, <laughs> I'm not ready to die. Not much can be done, however. Sea lions are protected under the Marine Mammal Protection Act put in place in 1975. It's unlawful to kill, harm, or forcibly move them. Boat slip owners last week asked NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association, which oversees marine mammals, to address the issue after complaints that tourists and fishermen were tossing their extra bait into the harbor, attracting more sea lions. The city has tried to mitigate the issue by giving them their own platform, but some say that's not enough. Maybe throw some fish on there so they get conditioned to keep going on that little platform there, but it seems like they need more of a platform too. So this is the platform behind me. You can see there's probably, I don't know, a half a dozen sea lions right now. They were here most of the day coming and going as were people coming down, taking pictures, really enjoying it. Uh, but you certainly can understand as they get noisier too, um, how hard this could be for the uh, boat owners who are here. But really, uh, the agency that would write these citations, um, they have like six people on staff total, so there's absolutely no way to enforce something like that. So really, it's just sort of learning how to coexist with one another. From Oceanside, Misha DeBono, Fox 5 News. All right, Misha, with the latest there, mm -hmm. thank you. What's